Hi everyone, in this tutorial, we're going to have a real infinite scroll in our Shopify team with no app or library being used. And when I say real infinite scroll, what I mean by that is you're just going to scroll. There's no clicking in here. That's why it's infinite scroll, right? When we go to my uh, demo store and we go to all product collections, I have this collections with 237 products and I have it paginated on like 12 products each. And with this uh, code, what it does is when you scroll down, it has this uh, loading image and it loads the products. And let's go all the way to the last page. So on the last page, it has this no more products to load, but this is going to be customizable and you can do whatever text you want it to be. So this code is not going to affect the performance of your website since we're using Intersection Observer. So you can check it by yourself. But for me, I posted an image in my blog that it didn't affect the performance of my website. To start, we're going to go to our admin store. And we're going to go to online store and teams. And I'm just going to edit my Dawn team that I just added. And if you want to duplicate this team, you just have to click actions and then uh, click duplicate so that you have something to revert back or to go back into. For me, I'm just going to edit the Dawn team here, but it should work on any teams that you have. Just follow along on what I have posted on my website. I give instructions if you have different teams. And what we're going to do is we're going to click actions and then edit code. So to have an infinite scroll, I decided to use the intersection observer and to use a snippet code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our snippet folder and then add a new snippet and you have to call it infinite dash scroll and then create snippet. And we're going to go to our website and grab the infinite scroll code. And just click to copy this clipboard here and go back to our website and control B to paste. And I'm just going to highlight it and shift tab to reformat and then click save. Now that's all we need to do. We just have to add this to our collection section. So it's usually in the section folder but some of the teams have it in templates folder i did have a list of those teams that might contain this collection so for dawn team or any shopify 2.0 teams or free teams it should be the main collection product grid so open that and we're going to go all the way down and find this and paginate so in here, we're going to add the code that we have in our website, the infinite scroll. So we're going to go here. So this is what I meant by which folder you're going to edit. So it really depends on your team, but I did list some of the teams here. And if your team is not in here, uh, let me know and I'll figure it out and then add it in here. Um, so. The next step is to get our code for the infinite scroll. We're just going to copy this one and then go back to our code editor and we're just going to paste the code right here. I'm just going to highlight it and shift tab to reformat. You see this end text right here. You can leave it blank if you don't want to show the this one, the no more products to load. If you want a different text, you could just say no more products. So you could just change that one, but keep the quotation mark and it should customize whatever it's on the end text. Click save. That's it. That's all you have to do to add this infinite school in your Shopify store or whatever team you have. If you have any questions, let me know and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.